guys, today we're going to be doing a pretty updo style. I've started by making a half ponytail, and as you can see, I only pulled the top of her hair back. I left the sides down. I'm going to take this half ponytail and I'm just going to flip it inside out. I'm going to be using my topsy tail, but if you don't have one, you can just use your fingers. Now I'm going to take this hair on the top and on the sides of these twists that that made, and I'm just going to pull it out so it's more of a soft look. And don't worry about getting this perfect looking, you want it to kind of look messy. Now with the hair that we left out on the sides, I'm going to be doing the same thing as the center one. We're just going to pull the hair back, flip it through, and then again stretch it out. I'm going to want to place this next elastic just directly under that first twist. And then again, you're just going to flip this through. And you may want to do it a couple of times just so that you have more of a twist to work with. It's kind of just going to depend on the texture of hair you're working with. I'm going to pull this out and loosen it a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and pull out the twist. So as you can see, there's really no exact science to this. You just want to keep working with it until you get it looking how you want it to. I'm going to do one more on each side and then I'm leaving some hair out in the front just to frame her face. Now that I have the top looking how I want it to, with this remaining hair I'm going to make some braids and just wrap them up into buns. And depending on the thickness of your hair, you may want to do two buns or three. You'll just have to see what looks better. I think I can get away with doing two on her hair because it is on the thinner side. So I'm just splitting all of that in half and I'm going to make a braid with each side. And then you'll want to stretch out the sides of this braid quite a bit. So don't worry about getting these braids perfect looking. When we're done, I'm not wanting it to even look like a braid. It's more just going to be like one clump of hair here at the bottom. Okay, now that I have these braids made, again, this is going to be no exact science. I'm just going to kind of wind them up until I like the way it looks and pin it into place. Okay, the back of this is pretty much done. Now we're just going to take our flat iron and curl these pieces that we left out on the side for the finishing touch. I'm not wanting these pieces super curly here in the front, so I'm just going to do like a half a turn with this flat iron. So I'm just placing it at the root, and then I'm going to turn it to the back, and then just go ahead and pull it out. That should just give it a nice wave. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Here's the finished hairstyle. See you next week.